Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Byron, Alexandra, Carmen, Alejandra, Kenia, Cristina, and Edma. How are you tonight? Hi, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, that's excellent. Uh, did you finish the section number five of the platform? Do you have any problem, any equation in that section? Problems, questions? Is it easy? Have you already finished? Ya terminaron la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yes. And what about the final exam? I am finished, teacher. You have already finished. Hello. Hello, good evening. So you have already finished. Let's take a look at some exercises. Yesterday we were talking about simple past question using was, where, and also did. So do you have any question about that topic? No questions. Today we are going to have a review of the final exam. So let's take a look at this. I'm gonna share the screen with you. Here we go. And the, here, we're going to go to the platform. Can you see the web page? Where, where are you born? Teacher, Feliz Día al Maestro. Ah, in Spanish. <laughs> thank you so much. Happy, Happy Teacher's Day. Happy Teacher's Day. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, now we have already finished this exercise. Do you have any problem on this? This is section number five. And then we have this other one. Where were you born? Where did you grow up? How was your first days of school? Who was your first friend in school? What was he or she like? Why did you take this class? We studied this yesterday about those questions. And we have this other exercise here. So in this, you have to unscramble the words to create the questions. Example, born where you were, where were you born? So can you tell me in this part, grow up, you did and where? ¿Cómo les quedó este ejercicio? Can you help me please? What is the answer in this? Where did you grow up? Okay, where did you grow up? What is a good answer for this? Is asking me for a place or for time? Por un lugar o por tiempo? Uh -huh. A place, lugar. Okay, it's asking me for a place. Let me a second. Uh, uh, here we go. And the next one. Resolvimos esta porque alguien escribió en el grupo que tenía un problema. ¿verdad? How old were you in the year 2000? How old were you in the year 2000? ¿Cuántos años tenían en el 2000? So you say, I was. I'm not born. Oh, you he wasn't, wasn't born, born yet. So you say, I haven't born yet. How old were you in the year 2000? Alguien nació antes del 2000? How old were you in the year 2000? Nobody? Then you say, I was born. I was born in 1985. 
Ah, okay. So 1985. So you have five years. So you say I was five. I was five years old. Five years. Uh -huh. Five or fifteen. Um, fifteen. En el 2000. Yes. Sí, tenía 15. Ah, I was okay. 15. I was 15 years old. Any other answer? How old I was you? 15 years old, teacher. I was 16. I was 16 years old. Okay, it's a mix. I was 16. 16. I was 16 years old. And number three, what is the answer here in number three? I have the word begin to study English when and did you? When did you begin to study English? Okay, excellent. So it says when. Wait a second. When did you begin to study English? What's the answer? When did you begin to study English? Cuando comenzó a estudiar inglés? Now it's asking me for time again. When, when did you begin to study English? Then you say, I began studying English. Studying English in y el año en que empezó. I began studying English in. Comencé a estudiar inglés en. ¿En qué año? ¿O hace cuánto? ¿Se acuerdan las expresiones de tiempo que vimos ayer? I began studying English uh, last year. I began studying English two years ago. I began studying English. Uh, last month, I began studying English in 2010, for example. So when, when, when did you begin to study English? ¿Cuándo fue que comenzó a estudiar este idioma? When did you begin to study English? Any answer? I began. I went study English uh, three, no, two months ago. Two months ago. Two months yes. ago. Okay, hace dos meses. Excellent. I began studying English two months ago. Any other answer? Any other answer here? Okay, let's go with the last one then. Number four. In number four, I have you born when and where. What is the right question in this part? When were you born? When were you born? Okay, when were you born? Yes. Is it asking me for a place or for time? It's for time. It's for time. So when were you born? Cuando nació. Then you say, I was born in. Was born in. And you say, the year. 1990. 1990. Any other answer? I was born in. I was born in 2002. 2002. Okay. Any other? I was born in. I was born in 1984. 1984. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So, do you have any question? I'm going to click here in the send. I see me saco mala nota su cuerpo. Vamos a ver. Ah, okay. 25 points of 25 points. You got a 10. That's perfect. Question, do you have any question about this part? No questions, is it okay? Okay, 
Now let me erase those notes. Uh, okay, here we go. And then we have a reading in this, again, the last exercise. And the reading is about Ricky Martin. Realizaron esta lectura? Do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Si sí, la leyeron, ¿tienen alguna pregunta del vocabulario? Do you have any questions? No question. Oh, when was born, when, where was Ricky Martin born? Cuando nació, perdón, ¿dónde nació Ricky Martin? In San Juan, oh, in San Juan. Okay, in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Rico. Okay, okay, cool. And... Any other question about this reading? No question? Okay, we're going to take a look at this reading later. Now let's come back with this thing here. Después de la sección 5, justo de la, la sección 5 está el final exam. ¿Quién le hace falta todavía tomar este exam? This is the final exam. It has six questions, it says here. Here we go. Okay, it has a listening part. It has uh, this exercise to complete sentences here in this part. And we have this, select the best answer for each question. So question in simple pass, all of this. And match the verse with the correct word or phrases. Simple pass to phrases in simple pass. Then select the correct form of the verse to complete the sentence. Simple pass again. Pero pasado simple también en esa parte. And finally we have this reading. This reading exercise home alone. And that is the final exam. Uh, para mañana, ¿verdad? Ya tiene que estar completo hasta acá, ¿verdad? Eh, puede ver su progreso. You can see your progress in this part. Bye. Para el día de mañana, antes de la clase final del día de mañana, todo esto ya tiene que estar al 100%. Si no es posible el 100%, lo aceptable es el 80%. Siento, ¿verdad? Todo, todas sus barritas tienen que estar al 80% para que usted pueda obtener su certificado sin ningún problema. Así que nos queda todavía hoy en la noche y mañana ¿verdad? hasta las 7 y 59 para que termine. Do you have any question? Do you have any question? No question about this? Any question? Okay. ¿A alguien le falta? ¿Alguien va todavía por la sección 3, 4? No. A veces sucede, ¿verdad? Dejamos a última hora todo. Ah, en dos horas voy a realizar la plataforma. No hay problema. And then, right, please, if you have any problems, don't forget that I can help you, right? Just write uh, on the group or to my personal WhatsApp. And I'm going to help you if you have any question, any doubt on the platform exercise. But don't forget, please, that the due date is tomorrow, before our last class. Y ahí ya no va a poder, ya no va a poder completar la plataforma después de la clase de mañana. Así que si le hace falta algo, ¿no? eh, hoy después de la clase, today after classes, or tomorrow, o mañana. Ya no hay más tiempo. 
Espero que sí logren terminar su plataforma. And if you have any doubt, any question, if you need help, I am here to help you. And I'm going to be happy to help you. So, no duden en escribirme si tiene algún problema. Todavía con los ejercicios dentro de la plataforma. So, let's go with tonight's topic. In tonight's topic, we're going to have a review for you to have some help to take the final exam in case you haven't done it yet. So we are going to have a final exam review. Welcome to the class 15 and let's start with this. Oh, okay, we are going to have this listening. We are going to listen and then we are going to answer this question. Let me know please if you can listen. One. Hey Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay. Pay attention and then we're going to answer the questions. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Okay, where are Helen and Mark going? Where are they going? Could you listen? Escucharon los lugares? Where are they going? The, escuché the department store, uh, the gas station. Okay, the department store, gas station. Oh, let's listen again. Let's listen again. One. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Okay, where are Helen and Mark going? Any idea? What is going to be on Saturday? ¿Qué va a haber el sábado? El cumpleaños. Happy birthday. Uh, ah, Saturday. He's going to be a uh, Mark father's birthday party. So he wants to get a present for him. Mark quiere comprar un presente para su papá. So he's going One, to... Two. Hey, Mark. Where are you uh -oh. going? Oh, I think my father's we're birthday lost. is on okay, Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so okay. I'm going to. This is the conversation. Say a little this. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith Department Store. Hey, are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go. To the bank. It's not far from Smith. Can I come with you? Sure. So the question is, where is Mark going? ¿A dónde va a ir Mark? A happy birthday. A mm. uh, gasolina. Ah, ah, okay. okay. Department. Thank you, Anna. Department store. He's going to the department store. Eh, let's see. ¿Por qué razón no van en carro? Ay, porque no tienen gasolina. Ok, they don't have any gasoline. Está cara. Tienen que caminar. Ok, so dice, I'm gonna walk. Voy a caminar. And Helen dice, you know, I need to go to the bank. Uh, ¿Para dónde va Helen? Where is Helen going? The bank. Oh, uh, she's uh, going to the bank. The it's, bank. No, it's no far from Smith. Can I come with you? Mark uh, oh. says, sure. sure. So I need to volunteer to practice in this conversation. Any volunteer? Mm -hmm. hey, who wants to help me? Hello, it's almost your last class. Come on, help me with this. Two volunteers. 
Okay, teacher. Thank you, Edma. Edma M. Okay, thank you, Byron. I know that you want to help me. So, Edma, you are Helen. Byron, you are Mark. Can you please start? Yes. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present. So I am going to Smith department. Are you going to dry there, here? There. No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I am going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith. Can I come with you? Sure. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Myron. Thank you so much, Edna. So Thank let's go with the name. Where is the Smith Department Store? Do you remember that we studied some phrases to give direction and also the uh, preposition of place? So we are going to listen some of them in this. Let's pay attention to the listen. Here we go. Two. Uh-oh. I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Okay, what is it meets the bottom of the store? Do you have any idea what is a Smith department store? So let's discover that in the following transcript. And here is the second conversation. And Helen says, oh, oh I think we are lost. Where is a Smith department store? And Mark said, I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We are on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. That is a Smith department store. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. So, ¿les ha pasado eso? A los que usualmente conducen cuando van a pie se pierden. Yes o no. Sucede no, o sí, no sí. sucede. No sucede. Sí. Ok. Sí, sí. Ah, ok. I need another two volunteers to practice in this conversation. Who wants to try? Me, teacher. Thank you, Cristina. And? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Do it, please. Can you need it, teacher? You, Cristina, please. Okay. Hey, Mark, where are you going? La primera era, teacher, or la segunda? The second, second, please. I'm sorry. The second. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, I think we are lost. Where it is, where it is Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where, is, where it is? No, not really. Well, I, I think is on second street no it's not we are on second street now i think it's on main you are right it's on the corner of first and main thank you so much christina and carmen well done excellent job in this part so do you have any question about this conversation new vocabulary if not let's go with the next 
And look at this question. How do you get to a Smith department store? What is the meaning of this question? Do you, rem do you remember this? How do you get to? How do you get to Smith department store? Do you remember this question? What is the meaning in Spanish of this question? How do you get to Smith department store? Como llego. Okay. Three. Excellent. Um, so how do we get there from here? Okay, now let's listen. Let's listen. Como llego a Smith department store? So let's listen the instruction. Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. Okay, now let's What are you going to buy? Let's see the transcript for this. Mm, so how do we get there from here? Well, we are on second now, right? Yeah. Well, we also woke up second to Maine. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. So do you remember these phrases? Turn right. What is the meaning of this? Turn right. What is the meaning of this expression? Turn right. Derecha. Dobla la derecha. derecha. Okay. Sí, tome la derecha. Tome la derecha. On the left. Derecha. What is the meaning of that expression? Izquierda. A la izquierda. A la izquierda. A la izquierda. Walk up. Where we just walk up. Justo enfrente. Camine. Okay, camine, ¿verdad? Camine. Hacia arriba. Walk up. Hacia arriba. Walk up. Uh, okay. Do volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to help me? Me teachers. Okay, thank you, Alejandra Guevara and just one. Just one more. Who wants to help me? If not, I'm gonna choose. Me teacher. Okay, Eduardo. Eduardo. Thank you. Alejandra Guevara and Eduardo. Eduardo, you are A. Alejandra, you are B. Okay. Mm, so how do you work there for her? Uh? Well, are you on second now, right? Yeah. Well, we hope well up second to May. Are you sure? Yes. The we turn right right it down the street on the left. Excellent, thank you so much. Now, what's the answer for the equation? How, okay, let's say a little bit of the equation. What was the equation? How do you get to Smith Department Store? What's the answer? You say, walk up to the second to main, then we turn right, it's down the street on the left. That was the answer. Let's listen to the last conversation. Let's listen to the last small conversation. And this is the question. What is, what is Mark going to buy? What is Mark going to buy? What is Mark going to buy? Let's give me a second. ¿Qué va a comprar? ¿Qué va a comprar él? Uh, let me see what was it. There was a problem here in this question. What is Mark going to buy? It's an E there. Okay, now let's listen to the conversation. Here we go. Four, three. What are you going to buy um, for your father? I'm not sure. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. 
Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Oh, what is Mother thinking to buy to his father? ¿Qué está pensando Mark en comprarle a su papá? He's seeing a tie. Ah, he wants He's to buy a tie. tie. ¿Qué le recomienda a la chica? Oh. Now look at the transcript of the conversation. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie. Oh, no, no a tie. No, then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get it one. Thanks. Al final, le va a comprar la corbata o la otra cosa, the sweater. What do you think? He's going to buy the tie or he is going to buy the sweater? He's going to buy a sweater. Sweater. Okay. Probably he is going to buy a sweater. So he say, I think I get it one. Thanks. So two volunteers, the last two volunteers to practice in this small conversation. Who wants? Who wants to try? Anyone? Yes, two, please. If not, I'm going to choose somebody. And I'm going to choose, let's see. Fátima and Carla Flores. Fátima Cepeda and Carla Flores. Can you tell me, please? Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you, Carla. You are A at this time. You can start. Okay. What are you going to buy for your father? Fátima? Okay, if no, Kenya. Kenya Marilyn Molina, can you tell me, please? Hello, Kenya. Good evening. Hey, teacher. Okay, thank you, Anna. Okay. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe I did. Oh, no, not a tie. No, then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at this sweater here. Oh, they are nice. I think hit I own thing. Okay, excellent. So the last sentence, I think I'll get it one. I think I'll get it one. Thanks. Okay. Teacher, um, yes, and um, and the and maybe la asana como a no la asana como e may maybe 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 mm -hmm. la la tengo, la a siempre va a sonar como una e um, en algunos casos la a, la a tiene varias pronunciaciones en algunos casos suena como a en Spanish but in this case maybe es como en el abecedario cuando usted dice ah, may may a b c d so that is the sound maybe maybe en este caso es a el sonido a maybe Justo como la decimos en el abecedario, A, B, C, that is may, maybe, maybe a tie. Okay, thank you for your question. Any other question in this part? No more question. Then let's go with the next exercise. And look at this. We are going to remember the preposition of place. Which one do you remember? The quality se acuerdan? I have here some of them next to, on the corner of, behind, across, front, and between. What is the meaning of next to you? Do you remember that? Next to. What was the meaning of next to? On la parte. Okay, on the corner of. 
en la esquina de behind atrás atrás de excelente across from across from between across from and between ¿Cuál de ellos dos significa en medio de? Between. Between, excelente. Uh, en across front means uh, cruzando, ¿verdad? Enfrente de. Oh, let's see, let's say a look. What is the first national bank in this map? What is the first national bank? Can you help me? Using this preposition of place, what is the first national bank? Any volunteer to answer the question? What is the first national bank? Um, but yes, yeah. And then, ¿se acuerdan que the first national bank is next to Princess Grocery Store? Princess Grocery Store. So, what is the gas station? What is the gas station? Behind the gas station. The, what is the gas station behind there? The gas, the gas station. Um, the corner the first of the morning, no. Is behind is shopping center. Okay, thank you. So it behind the shopping center? No. No. Is it behind across or be, between? Across from the King Plus Hotel. Okay, let's see. Yes, give me a second. Uh, here is the gas station. Look at this. So we have First Avenue Shopping Center. So the gas station is in front of, it's in front, or it's next to, we can say it's next to. The gas station is next to shopping center. Now, where is the Rosa's restaurant? Where is Rosa's restaurant? Can you tell me some sentences using preposition of place? Where is Rosa's restaurant? Say Rosa's restaurant is across from King Plaza Hotel. Thank you so much. That is a good sentence. Rosa's restaurant is across from King Plaza Hotel. Any other? Can I use any other of these prepositions to locate Rosa's restaurant? Corner Street. Okay, it's on the corner of. We can use that. It's on the corner of Maple Avenue and Pine Street. Excellent. And we also can use next to. Rosen's restaurant is next to Franz Cafe. And where is Parker's Drugstore? Here is Parker's Drugstore. Can you tell me which preposition can I use? Parker Doctor is between on the it, corner of Second Avenue and Main Street. Oh, uh, do you see that is the point to tell me? Second Avenue and Main Street is here. Any other? Between of uh, Top Shoes and Mom Pops Grocery. Okay, thank you. Um, so you say Parker Drugstore is between Top Shoes and Mom and Pop's Grocery. Excellent, thank you. And what is Joe's Gin? Joe's Gin? Just between past office and day's dream store. Department store. Department store. Okay, it's between the post office and all days department store. And where is the landromat? What is the landromat? 
Delandroman is behind the post office. Excellent. Thank you. The Landroman is behind the post office. Where is the public library? Public library? Where is it? Where is the public library? Next to the gas station. Okay, excellent. The public library is next to the gas station. And where is the park? Where is the park? Where is the park? Across from the Palace Hotel. Okay, you can say it's across, across from, from the post office. Ese es otro the post office. The post across office. from the post office. Está es bien del otro. Ah, es el otro parque. <laughs> ah, it is not a park, right? It's the key plus hotel entrance. Okay. Es la entrada, ¿verdad? Del hotel, I guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you so much. Between uh, Fritz Avenue and Second Avenue? Yes, you can say that it's between First Avenue and Second Avenue. Um, do you have an equation about how to use preposition of place next to, on the corner of, behind, across, front, and between? No question? We have already studied this topic. So if you don't have an equation, let's go with this. Simple past questions. Can you match the question with the answer? Help me to complete this exercise. Where were your, where your parents born in the US? It's a yes no question. Where your parents born in the US? Where did you grow up? Who was your first English teacher? When did you come to New York? How was your first day in the US? In the answer, I have the next sentence. I grew up in San Miguel. It was a little sad. I missed my country. I came to New York in 2010. No, they weren't. They were born in El Salvador. My first English teacher was Mr. Colin. So match, match the question with the answers, please. What is the first Number one? one. Number one is letter D. Letter D. No, they weren't. They were oh. born in El Salvador. Okay, excellent. Yes, one D. Perfect. And the second one, where did you grow up? Uh, letter A, I grew up in San Miguel. Okay, excellent. Letter A, I grew up in San Miguel. In the next. Number three. Uh, letter, letter E. e. Letter My e. first English teacher was Mr. Colin. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Number four. When uh, did letter you come B. New York? No, letter, I, B. letter C. Letter C. Letter C. I came to New York. I in came to New York. In 2010. Yeah. Excellent. And the last one, number five, is how oh, was your first day in the U.S.? Letter B. It was a little sad. I missed my country. Okay, letter B. It was a little sad. I missed my country. Excellent. Thank you. So here is the key answer. 1B, 2A, 3E, 4C, and 5B. I need to volunteer to practice in this. Uh, question and answers. Who wants to practice? <coughs> Who wants to practice in this part? Any one of you? Then let's listen. Me, teacher. Okay, Carmen. Any other volunteer? One, two, three. Let's listen, Edma. Edma and Carmen, please. Hey, Carmen, can you please read the question and Edma the answers, please. Hey teacher, were your parents born in the USA? No, they weren't, they were born in US, US. Where did you grow up? I grew up in San Miguel. Who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher was Mr. Colin. When did you come to New York? 
I came to New York in 2010. Who was your first day in the US? US? It was a little sad and missing my country. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Thank that you. was excellent. Thank you so much. Very well done. So how do you pronounce these? They were born. Es que yo le escuchaba que dice U.S. teacher. <laughs> oh, that is D. U.S. U.S. Ah, okay. That so stands USA. for United States. And, okay. and when they say USA, USA, sería United States of America. So here is okay. ESA o El Salvador. I'm worried. <laughs> Okay, we are learning, don't worry. Uh, any question in this part? The last two volunteers to practice in this part. Let me listen, please. Eduardo and Byron, can you help me, please? Eduardo, okay. can you read the question and Byron the answers, please? Okay. Uh, where is your parent born in the USA? Y le llamé porque le quería contar algo, pero hoy ya no le puedo contar. Uh, es confidencial. Ok. No, they weren't. They were born in El Salvador. Where did you grow up? I grew no, up si in me San me Miguel. Who has you feel English teacher? My first English teacher was Mr. Colin. When did you come to New York? I came to New York in 2010. How was your first day in the USA? It was a little sad. I missed my country. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. So, missed. I missed my country. Any other question in this part? If you don't have any other question, let's go with the next exercise here. Let's go. Okay, now look at this paragraph. It's a sequence of events, right? So yesterday, my wife and I went to a restaurant. It was a romantic evening, but at 11 o'clock, the lights went out. We heard a lot of screaming. We didn't know what to do. We wanted to go out. Suddenly, a man appeared and said, stay there. He was a thief. He got a gun in his hand. There was another man beside him. We gave them our money. After 10 minutes, the police arrived and they caught the thief, but we never recovered our money. So it is a sequence of events, right? ¿Qué sucedió primero? It says, yesterday my wife and I went to a restaurant. Uh, that is the first action. So it said, it was a romantic evening. But at 11 o'clock, the lines went out. Segundo evento, we heard a lot of screen. Tercer evento, we didn't know what to do. We wanted to go out. Suddenly, a, mar a man appeared and said, stay there. He was a thief. He had a gun in his hand. There was another man beside him. We gave them our money. After 10 minutes, the police arrived and they caught the thief, but we never recovered our money. ¿En qué tiempo es este párrafo? Pasado. It's sim simple pass, right? Excellent. Simple pass. Simple pass, yes. When is a regular or Irregular bear. Irregular. It's an irregular bird. What about a period? Irregular bird. A period is a regular or irregular bear. Regular bird. It's a regular, regular bird. It's a regular bird. And cow, cow, the deal. Regular. Okay. Irregular. 
breakfast. It, it's an irregular. It's an irregular verb. Yes. And the last one, recovered. Regular. Irregular. Irregular. Regular or irregular? Irregular verb. Yeah. Are you sure it's irregular? Regular verb. It's a regular verb. So what is this paragraph about? Like, what happened there? ¿Qué sucedió ahí? What is this story about? Uh, ¿De qué se trata esta historia? Esta secuencia de eventos. Secuencia de eventos. Oh, let me try with another question. Do you have any question about vocabulary? ¿Alguna palabra de estas que no conozca? Thief. Thief um, ladrón. He was a thief. Thief ladrón. Él era un ladrón. He ladrón. was a thief. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this sentence he had a gun in his hands. ¿Qué tenía en sus manos? Una, una, una pistola. Arma, una pistola. Oh, there was another man beside him. ¿Dónde estaba este otro hombre? Atrás de, de él. Bis, beside, beside, al lado de. Beside, al lado, ajá, de al lado perdón. Uh, we gave them our money. ¿Qué le dieron a ellos? Dinero. 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 Después de cuántos Después minutos? De diez minutos. Después de 10 minutos. Después de 10 minutos, minutos, de diez minutos, minutos llegó la policía. Los sí, capturó. Los capturó. capturó. Ah, ok. Pero eh. nunca recuperaron su dinero. Sí, nunca recuperaron ah. su dinero. Oh my God. Eso no sucede en El Salvador. Sí, porque nunca llega la policía. <risa> llega la policía en El Salvador 10 minutos after something happened. Mil años más tarde llegó la policía. Ah, ok. Ok, do you have any question about this paragraph? Simple, fast. I need one volunteer to read this paragraph. Who wants to try? Who wants to try? I need one, one volunteer. Who wants to help me? Who wants to try? Just one. It's now going to choose somebody. Emma Jamilet, can you help me? Hello, Emma. Good evening. So he said, no, teacher, I don't want to read. It is too long. And he said, sorry, teacher. Okay, no problem. Don't worry about that. And no problem, tears. One, two, three. Okay. Me, teacher, lo voy a intentar. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Okay. Yesterday, yesterday, my wife and I went to a restaurant. It was a, rom a romantic evening, but at 11 o'clock, the last went out when had a lot of the screen. We didn't know what to do. We went to go out some, some... suddenly, suddenly. Suddenly, a man appeared inside. They stay here. He was a, a thief. 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 A he thief. was a thief. He was a thief. He had a wound in his hand. There was another man beside him. We, we, we have, we gave, <laughs> we gave, we gave. <laughs> Ten hour morning after ten minutes, the police arrived and they throw the tear. They tried tears. Come on, has a chance. The tear. The tear. The tear. But we never record our money. Thank you. you. Thank <laughs> you. Well done. And you got five stars. You got five stars trying to read this paragraph. That was very good. So the lights went out and we heard a lot of screams. 
We didn't know what to do. No sabíamos qué hacer. Así, de esta manera, relatamos lo que nos sucede, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, el día de hoy, ¿qué les pasó? So you say, today I woke up early. I took a cold shower. I had a delicious breakfast. I went to work. I worked hard all day long. I got home at seven o'clock. So, ordena los eventos, ¿verdad? Ordena todas sus actividades en orden y las va contando. What did you do? ¿Qué es lo que hizo? Lie in this paragraph. Okay, can you please help me to answer this question about the text? When did this happen? ¿Cuándo sucedió? Yesterday. Okay, yesterday. it happened yesterday, yes. What time was it when the lights went out? 11 o'clock. Okay. Yes, it was 11 o'clock. What did they want to do then? ¿Qué querían hacer cuando escucharon los gritos y toda la prisión ahí? What did they want to do? They wanted to go out, salir corriendo de ahí, ¿verdad? Querían irse. Who was the man that appeared? ¿Quién fue el hombre que apareció? Who was, who was? The police? Mm -mm. Uh, ladrón. Ah, ok. Ok. He was a thief. Era un ladrón. What did the people get the thief? ¿Qué le dieron las personas a los ladrones? Money, money. Ah, ok. People gave the thief their money. Did the police catch the thief? It's a yes no question. Ah, raro. Yes, they did or no, they didn't? Yes, they did. Ah, okay. Yes, they did. Okay, so as um, you can see here, so an example of information question. And the last one is just a yes, no question. So when did this happen? What time was it when the lights went out? What did they want to do then? Who was the man that appeared? And what did the people give the tip? Did the police catch the deal? Yes, they did. Do you have any question? No questions? No. Okay, well, tomorrow is our last virtual session, our last class, right? Uh, don't forget, please, that you have to complete the platform exercise uh, tonight and tomorrow. Before the class, uh, before the, um, tomorrow class, the platform must be finished. Debe estar terminada. And also the final exam. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I really appreciate your help during the class. Thank you. Thank you, Edma, Cristina, Carmen, Byron, Carla, Ana, Kenia, Emma, Eduardo, Fatima, and Alejandra. See you tomorrow in our last class. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night.